last couple days have been like? Um, they've been fun. Um, I was talking to someone this morning just saying how, you know, it's been like being on cloud nine and eventually I got to come down and got some tests this week in school, so I'm sure those will bring me down. But um, it, it's been a lot of fun um, just with the team, you know, always celebrating the victories. Good, um, especially a big one like that. So, you know, we just got to get, you know, onto this week now and move forward. What's a, what's a better feeling, kicking six field goals to win the game or scoring a touchdown? They're different. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a tough question, but I mean, <clears throat> I think, you know, we won both games and that's that's the main thing, you know, it, it really didn't doesn't matter unless you, you win the game. Um, we put a lot of hard work into this. Um, and so I'm just happy happy I can, you know, be a be a part of it. Gary Ford was uh, telling us that last week leading up to the game, Coach Malzahn was was loose, was was cracking jokes with you guys. What does that do for the locker room when he's like that? I think that um, you know, he was trying to just lead by example, um, and just you know, get us back to you know enjoying enjoying the process, um, you know, during practice and stuff, being being a little more relaxed. I mean, still obviously getting all the work in, but um, you know, enjoying enjoying the moment. Um, and you know, we've we've put a lot of hard work into this, so um, I guess he was just trying to lead by example, and I think that definitely helped. Um, and the guys were definitely you know positive this week, um, and I think it paid off this weekend. When's the last time you've seen him that loose? I mean, he, he he's a pretty high-strung guy. I think you know he's always working working really hard. Um, but I mean, he he's a great coach, and you know the team really really has his back, um, and we love having him around. Um, and we know he's going to work hard for us, um, and we try and return the favor for him. Gus said we might possibly see you kick it from sixty this season. How does that make you feel knowing that you might get that opportunity? It's good. We've we've had that conversation, um, and we've you know tried tried some things out in practice and stuff, um, just to you know kind of know if we do you know before half or before the end of the game if we need a longer kick um, or have the opportunity we can try it. Um, and you know that that'd be a lot of fun to try, and we'll we'll see if we ever get to that point. But you know, sixty and in is you know I need I need to continue to make those um, even those longer ones. I mean it's. I'm gonna miss eventually, but um, you know I'm gonna just try and continue to do what I've been doing. Um, and then any of those longer ones, those are always a bonus. Um, but you know I'm just I'm just here to help the team. And that's that's really all I'm focused on. What's the longest one you've made in practice or good I've said 70. Um, I made that I made that a couple times back in um, Colorado and here. Um, but I mean 65 and in, I can do pretty easily without. You know, trying to swing any harder or anything, um, but I mean, 65 and in is I think what we could. You know, if we needed it in a game, we could try that. Um, so we'll see. You know, it just depends on the situation, what kind of wind you have, um, and what kind of weather you have. Really, if it's rainy or not. So we'll we'll see. How many times do you practice that? You know, against a, a rush. Yeah, that's usually just messing around. Um, we practice those longer, you know, longer 50 yarders, um, even up to 60 yarders in practice and stuff. But you know, usually I don't try and mess around just because that's not what I'm going to be usually kicking during the game. I know you're always quick to you know credit your teammates if you have a big game. Um, do you think Tyler Stovall? I mean, how underappreciated do you think he is? I vary. Um, you know, he's. He's a guy that obviously doesn't need to be playing football. You know, he's he's had a ton of success in his life, um, and he the fact that he would come back to you know want to be a part of the team um, and just support the guys um, and the leadership role he's taken with that. You know, being the oldest guy on the team now, I think, um, and just for me, you know, the the amount of work he's putting into holding, which you know a lot of people overlook, but it's it's extremely important. And, you know, who knows what I would. Be doing without without a holder like him. What's he like kind of off the field? I know he's got he's yeah. <laughs> um, so it's different, obviously, but um, you know I've obviously developed a really good relationship with him. Um, his wife, my girlfriend, and his wife actually work out all the time together. Um, so you know I get to go hang out over there. Um, it's, it's like being part of a family almost. Um, a lot of guys joke around about him being Papa Stovall. Um, is what we call them. So, you know, it's fun to have that experience and be able to get over there and get a home cooked meal and stuff.
Colorado, I'm sure you've answered this before, but how did you end up here in Auburn? Uh, long, long story. Um, <laughs> my parents went to Bama, so um, my mom has family in Birmingham area, Trussell, Alabama. My dad came over from Sweden, and um, I, I didn't want to stay in Colorado. They ended up living in Colorado just because they couldn't figure out whether to live in Europe or Alabama, I guess. Um, and I just I grew up watching SEC football, um, and when you know I I got in contact with Auburn and stuff and visited, I just fell in love with it here. Did you grow up an Alabama fan? I did, yeah, I did. Um, I wasn't a diehard, but I, I mean, I grew up playing soccer so much that I never, you know, really imagined I'd be playing football or anything. Um, but when, you know, in high school, that kind of all shook out how it did. You know, it's, it's funny how I ended up here, but, um, you know, I was never a diehard, but I did enjoy watching Alabama football growing up. Um, but I don't know, I think hopefully my kids are going to enjoy Auburn football more. Has your family since converted a little bit? Oh yeah, things? oh yeah, definitely. My um, my parents and stuff are huge. You know, they're they're always wearing orange and blue. Um, grandparents that live in Trussell are still big Bama fans, but um, they'll come and cheer for me every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of soccer player were you when you played? How so? I mean, what, what position did you play? Or what was your style? I played uh, midfield mainly. Um, and I like to think I was good, but, um, you know, I, I played a lot growing up and stuff. And I, I had, you know, some small, smaller schools talk to me a little bit. Um, but junior year, I really stopped um, just because, you know, I, I knew at that point football was what I wanted to do. Um, and I didn't want to risk uh, injuring anything or doing that. Um, and I wanted to put all my focus into football. Do you study other kickers? Yeah, I do. I mean, a lot of NFL guys that have been there, you know, at least five, ten years, you know, there, there's a lot of guys that are doing it at a very high level um, over and over again. So I think there's a lot I can definitely learn from guys like that and even other college kickers. Um, I get a chance to go out to, you know, Wisconsin for these Coles kicking camps and stuff um, just to compete with other guys. And, you know, you, you pick up little little tricks and stuff here and there. Which NFL guys? Specifically, I I wouldn't say anybody in specific, just kind of everybody in general. Um, I mean, I think there's definitely a few guys that are a little better than others right now. And I mean, you think of like Justin Tucker at the Ravens. He's, you know, the last couple of years he's been doing unbelievable. Um, and guys like that, just trying to learn, you know, what what they're doing that makes them so successful. Is it is it weird or even a little surreal to? Be a kicker, getting as much attention as you've been getting. It's yeah, it's unexpected, I guess. Um, and I mean, it's 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 been a lot of fun, but I mean, I'm just a part of this team, um, and I mean, I know my role is just to help out the team, and you know, it's it's a role that I can be the hero, of the goat kind of deal, um, and that you know, if if I keep making kicks, it goes well, but. Um, once I start missing kicks, you know, people are going to question, hey, what is he doing? But um, that's, you know, that's why I enjoy it. There is a lot of pressure, but that makes it exciting. Um, and, you know, when you do well, it makes it really, really fun. What was that like, though, when you got geared up the field on Saturday? That was, that was yeah, that was fun. Um, I didn't really, I don't know, I think you were just so excited just how the end of the game kind of happened. Uh, it was kind of all surreal. Um, but, I mean, it was just, Really exciting to celebrate with the team um, because I I feel like we had, you know, we'd been waiting that for that, um, so to finally be able to do that and you know have that work pay off it was it was really fun. Daniel, hey, have you seen a video of the, the girl that tried to catch your? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what was your reaction to that? Um, I mean, I saw it happen right after I kicked it. Obviously, I, I kind of was watching and I saw her try and catch the ball, and I mean, I couldn't really tell from um, where I was at. You know exactly what happened. I saw her kind of fall back, um, but I know she ha she actually dates Chris Frost or used to date Chris Frost. I don't know if they're still dating, but um, so she came up to me after the game and she was like, "Hey," I was like, "I knew instantly." I was like, "Oh, you're the one that got who you know in the face," and so I apologized and we we took a picture and stuff. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad she's doing okay. She she took it like a champ.
Let's right, go. Happy you before. I mean, I'm sure the goal is to try and blow it out. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm not never intending to do that, but um, unfortunately, we don't have nets or anything, so sometimes people kind of get blindsided. Did you see the signs on the ground campus of you and Will Hastings posing with the litter for net saying, hey, litter for net for high Yeah. Two I don't know. Times since you both had as many touchdowns as him. Yeah, we had a good laugh about that. Um, some some friends sent that to me before the game and stuff, because um, I guess it was on TV and stuff. Um, so that that was funny, but I mean, we're just we're just happy to be here. Um, I know Will's doing a great job, you know, but I think he's he's transitioned to more of a receiver now, you know, and he's he's getting big time on us. So that's that's good for him. We're we're really excited for him.